Good day everyone. I have a request to do video whip and chat on diamond painting with square diamonds. And I was thinking and it's like wow, okay, I did not do or too often uh diamonds in square shape. I know I did no that was round as well. So yeah kinda I end up doing it or sparkle gems or round regular gems but not square so I went into my whips and this is one of my whips that I did test for you before because I wasn't sure if this grid will be good with diamonds or not so I did a test a long time ago and I put this in a long bucket or deep bucket and did not do since then so let me just open and show you what I have done it looks already good so all those kind of patches in here uh, not done but whatever is done it looks nice and sparkle uh, most in here this part there was all the white colors you see like light color it's no diamonds in here yet so basically most of this like in here like this part like totally completed but in here also all this green spots there's no diamonds in here so i thought let me pull out this canvas from my stash of whips and i know somebody was asking me if i could do same video of whips as i did cross stitch by the way if you don't know that i have a video of my old whips in cross stitch and somebody actually no one i think only one person who count and she said that i have 33 whips which i did not count myself so 33 it's a pretty good number i would say it's a jesus age so i don't think i need to go more than 33 till i finish something and i thought okay or i will do this whip to finish square diamonds or I can start one new which also square diamonds and this one is from Kudils to one remember I told you that's annoying me with my craft talking to my husband and he's like he don't care right <laughs> so I thought this is such a cute uh, so maybe we will work on both of them at the time not in one video but that's what I'm saying I need to have some square diamonds not sure what else in square diamonds I have in my whips but for now I think this canvas will be one to complete 100% and then in some next video I can start on this owls because I really really love them they are amazing and they have a blue eyes because I have a blue eyes okay so let's go and start work on this design we are going to work on this green patches uh, i think i work only once with this pen when i did unboxing and after i put tip in here it's not closing anymore so when you pull out tip yes it will fit but together with the tip unfortunately it doesn't fit to close lid so usually when I put my pen on the organizer I just keep a cup next to it to display that's all so this one pen is interesting because you can pull this out and work you can hold it it's like a lipstick so you can hold it here or if you don't want to you you can have a shorter by just you know just to close and you can hold in here if you're more comfortable this way so we are going to extend and not sure if this wax will be good or not and I don't know if this is going to be a little flimsy or not but I love the shape um, I love the sparkles will be comfortable or not probably not but I don't know let's try it so I have this diamonds in this container uh, this container is from FG Normal, so as this canvas from But I have this canvas from FG Normal and GBFKE, so they are complete, like it's exactly the same thing. So you can 
purchase this canvas in both of the stores or probably any others because they do have not sure but it, it pray, maybe they have them in different stores as well so my diamonds in here i have a diamonds in this organizers in here good thing i have a little piece of paper in here otherwise i would know where this in here uh in here also i have a different canvas with some special gems for a peacock but it's i did not start it on the canvas yet i just kitten up and so it's kind of not exactly whip but diamonds in here so let's see what we need symbol seven that would be number seven as well in here what kind of what oh i thought it's gonna be much better <laughs> color okay totally not what i expected i i expected i don't know why i expected that it's going to be nice and some kind of colorful diamonds it's not i'm going to put my tools in here uh i don't know if it's gonna create shadow or not it's actually gray diamonds i wanted something more colorful well that's not fun what's a would be let's see a it's a nine no nine is like a dark green so where is all those beautiful colors number four okay number four it's a little green so maybe this one is more colorful should we switch you know what we are going to do as i planned because this is a big chunk of this color in here so it will be more make sense to me to actually finish this symbol so i my hand don't stick when i have uh, you know working further up there so some colors in here create very beautiful and seamless design uh, if you remember my first review that i did some colors could be maybe a little bit more gappy i can't even remember now oh, the sky in here looks good no these diamonds are good they are very uh even i would say it looks looks nice this diamonds looks good in here all right so i will zoom you in to this point all right that should be good i will keep my diamonds here now i have to hold them so i don't spill it and i will bring my lamp towards me Put the case with diamonds away I still have some extra diamonds in that package that doesn't fit in those little tiny containers and I will bring my lamp towards me not the lamp but magnifier so I can place exactly on my squares what I should do uh, okay now when I'm looking at through the magnifier on these diamonds some of them have shape as a square on the top some of them has a diamond on the top so that's what create multi sparkle i guess and some of these diamonds few of them you're not going to see probably no you're not gonna see because i zoomed too close have like a holes on the top but it's not exactly whole it's just like a dent from plastic not seal all the way i guess but we're just going to avoid those because i know i will have more of leftovers diamonds so i don't have to stress too much all right so looks like all this patch nice and visible in my camera view and i will place just one by one without using multiplacer when i order this design i order because i saw cross stitch of this design and i really love the cross stitch so i thought you know diamond painting i can create much faster and will be 
beautiful picture but then I end up not finishing for a whole year probably I don't know I feel like last time I did work on this canvas when it was winter maybe not sure even not even sure So, so far from my whips that I have, I finish, well, a few canvases I finish, a few canvases that I started and finish, especially customs. Now I need to pick a couple more designs to finish from diamond painting. So most likely I will do video of my whips of diamonds. Uh, diamond painting whips same as I did cross stitch that way I will pick the most finished canvases so I can just finally complete them and make a less I promise you I don't have as many whips in diamond painting as I do <laughs> in cross stitch because diamond painting is much faster to complete then I would work um, cross stitch, you know. So yes, thank you so much for my viewer who requested square diamonds to work on. You know what I want to try? Here's what I want to try. Let me grab my pen that we recently did with you unboxing unboxing of this kit with this multi-chrome designs and I have in here big multi-placer okay let me zoom out a little bit just to remind you what we have in here this amazing pen so I have a bandy here and I have a, a six six placer and we are going to try it. I will try this purple wax as well. Let's refill. This is so cute. This is so cute. I love this color. Transparent kind of see like you can see through. So we're going to peel and not on the top of the die. Let me do this off the camera in here on the table just for in case I will make a mess on the diamonds. And I will put in my one placer. So I just refill once. I'm sure it's gonna sink very fast to the bottom. But just for now, let's see if this will work well with multi-placer so six I need to make sure it's gonna fit okay here see it line exactly fit how close we can see okay so let's see we need so one two three four five six so it could be here If I would move a little bit to the side, it definitely will fit seven diamonds. We will try maybe next time. So let's try to place it in one line. Mm -hmm. One diamond decide to stick in here. Okay, we can use this same as a three placer as well by picking only three diamonds because we have a three diamond and more three now let me try to use it's actually comfortable it's actually comfortable this placer i want to see this one if it's good for square diamonds or not 
with the bendy tip the position of your wrist go differently not like straight now it's gonna position sideways so you have to kind of readjust yourself a little bit because now we are doing almost like a sideway placing the diamonds wax coming out a little by pressure I have to say that this wax is very soft feel very soft and very sticky but it's kind of easy to spread it out and because no probably no hole up there to air getting out my wax keep kind of popping out so let me wipe a little bit away and try it and try it more we have to move a little bit to the side let me readjust okay I feel like it's not oh, why is not focusing right I feel far sometimes I can bring you much more close to the canvas I don't know so let's do with one placer I just like adore this color the color are so gorgeous love it and it's really comfortable to hold it feels like my fingers wants to go right to this little bubble uh, from the top I don't think it would be comfortable but or even more like I don't know that that's position let's try it if I want to go a little bit further to keep my fingers away for the square diamonds you really have to keep your tray like straight straight towards you so you pick and diamond already straight position if you would do like this your diamond will be stick crooked on your pen then when you want to place you have to kind of twist your hand two places so make sure just put your tray right straight and straight placement so you don't have to twist your arm okay I think I will like this pen and I will like this multiplacer uh, before when I did some test for you with this kind of tool for me wasn't opening enough to grab especially a square diamond it was keep falling down uh, this one okay so my other tools that i have similarity that i show you in my unboxing i will use those uh, the silver gold and rose gold that i have they were okay with um, round diamonds this one definitely better with square and I want to place a little bit more of you know what let me move a little bit more canvas hold on we are going to go for right because I have a bigger patches or oh, right in here that I can use more of my multi placer this one and now can I zoom close? no okay I guess this is what it is so let me reshake a little bit and we can play a little bit more with multiplacer kind of like a you know video test of the new tool see like in here more purple and this side more like a green reflective light oh so beautiful this side more matched to the color of the pan all right so let's see if i can get from side to side i can pick much more diamonds than six so how many i have here one two three four five six seven that's what i say it's very comfortable to pick seven diamonds at once now we need to find a straight line and i have straight line actually right in here i have a long line in here
here. See, it's nice. We can do a vertical or we can do horizontal. Not always goes smoothly because we're working with the big multiplacer. So any multiplacer will do not as good job as you would work with one placer. I always say that. For the speed of my designs to finish to review for you, I use my four placer. So I would put in here, do I have, oh, you know what? We have in here three placer. Let's put three placer because um, we have like a smaller area in here. So we already know how this works and I really love this kind of style pen because you can, you need to unscrew them instead of push in and that could be like easy to take that away later. I like this way so much more. Oh, even screw the go inside, see multi-chrome. Okay, let's get trip laser. I would rather work with trip laser than the other one there okay wax okay let's try it let's try it because this one would be probably more comfy because more lines and my lines will be more straight if you will pick just three diamonds at a time then you can pick two or you can pick even one with this side, whatever you have. See, so it's comfortable also to place even one diamond when you have a space left with one diamond or just quickly flip your pen and place even one placer. I don't know if you see it, but I place in here one of those gems that kind of like a dent, not a hole, but dent, but that's okay. It's still it's still okay or it's not okay no I don't like it I will take this down <laughs> where is my tweezers I will take this one diamond that I pick with multiplacer I don't want this dainty one I will toss it right to the garbage I will replace that because there's enough diamonds to finish with nice ones instead of something that is not so pretty if I would be short on diamonds then yeah maybe you know I should keep it just for in case but there is uh, lots of diamonds in here that I already finished placing them on this canvas like I eliminate in color by color that's how I work so I know already that I have lots of finish already and I did not run out of any colors yet. Okay, let me just stay in camera, hopefully. Okay, let's do more with three placer. Let's see if I can, oh, because it's a full of wax, see, it's, it's pick four diamonds. So I guess we can do like that as well four diamonds at once let's try again no now I pick three so from three to four depends how much wax is sticking out from your pen definitely very gooey um, wax kind of easy to push it away from the pen see now I pick it was three when I put kind of like in the middle so the edge of this pen and this edge of this pen picking it like 
extra diamonds so instead of three very often I will pick four diamonds as well Okay, not bad. I like these tools and I really like because that's the first tools that have screw-in tips to the pen. The other one always push in with the little rubber band and sometimes when I put them into the pen and want to change my multiplacer to some different kind multiplacer or straightener it would like very hard to pull it some of them could be wiggle and you have to place like little tiny pieces of napkin or something because not staying tight enough it could be wiggle uh, this one is amazing amazing So yes, thanks for your request of to do the square diamonds at least this way. I know for sure that now I will finish this design. Because when I go to my room downstairs and this kind of canvas is on my whips, it's on my big table. So I always keep looking at it. And I know I want to finish, but then I end up always opening some new project. Now, thanks to you, I will complete. And if I decide to complete something, usually it go really fast because I spend most of the time working on same design. It's like right now I'm working on my cross stitch Halloween sampler. So yes, that's definitely definitely will finish this canvas so my battery stop I have to exchange it that's why we have kind of a little bit broken video here right let's continue today for me is a little better sweet day in some point well no it's not it's not well it's kind of you know happy but it's actually always very sad day to me uh, as I record this video it's October 7 and my baby boy who is in Ukraine protecting his country it's his birthday today he's 27 today let's wish him happy birthday which would be already a little late when you're watching this video wish him happy birthday peaceful sky and hopefully this war will finish soon and he can maybe come visit me or definitely after war I will go home and visit him but now he's protecting his country and every mo moment for me it's a terrifying moment I spoke to him on a phone today, very short because internet disconnected very quickly. So at least I had a chance to talk to him and send him a gift. Yeah, my baby boy, 27 today. So being here so far away from him, it's always a sad day. But now it's even more because war up there, so it's even terrifying now. And my husband home now, so you will see, you will hear Daisy is gonna cry because sometimes they even bark. We are going to stop, Lilo. Nope, it wasn't my husband. It was my other baby. Took Daddy's truck, came home for a little bit. He said he had some shoulder pain, so he recovering after surgery um, and his shoulder bothering him, which 
his surgery was on a gallbladder, removing the stones. But for some reason, I guess maybe nerve connection or something because his shoulder hurt. I don't know what is going on. So he just came home for a sec to get some meds. So Daisy was disappointed it wasn't daddy so she went back <laughs> to the door she was looking at through the window because they can recognize his truck driving from far away and they start to cry by the door usually if I record something oh my goodness I have to stop because they would bark and whine because they are so excited okay With this bandy tip, you really have to kind of get used to it. I still don't feel very comfortable to work with the bandy pen. For me, more comfortable, like, straight to do. For example, like this tip. So maybe let's switch one more time. We can play around because we have a whole time on the world, right? Why not? Let's switch, especially when it's so easy. Okay, scares me. So easy to switch the steps. We can do it. And by the way, my apology for all this, my messy nails, I didn't finish them. I did something, not sure if I like it, kind of looking a little Halloween-ish maybe. Uh, I still love this one, but all this I make with the clear gel. This the only one left with the poly gel, but it's still okay, so I leave. Uh, this one I was gonna do tutorial, how I did this, I totally did different than I usually do. But didn't go well with my tutorial, so I deleted it. <laughs> Have to redo one day. Okay, let's try, see. If this pen straight one will be more comfortable for me because after so many years you know when you get used to it to one position of your arm then it's more comfortable than later teach yourself to a different position with the different position of the tool That's a wax. So I have to say that this wax doesn't really go into the pan because there's no air to come out. You know, when you have a regular pan, for example, like this one, you see, wherever you work in the wax go inside in here because it's a hole. So there's no kind of like a suction, it just go through. Uh, in this one doesn't have an exit because of the screw so the suction doesn't go wax go deep rather than just pushing out uh, when you press on a diamond so I don't know if that's a better or not better maybe better this way that way wax not going to accumulate inside of your pen going to move a little bit further to the top I don't understand hold on let me I'm gonna readjust camera it feels like oh see when I readjust camera position then I can zoom a little bit more close now I wonder if my hand on camera will make a focus go away let's see maybe not is it no it doesn't focus on my hand it focus still you have a focus on a diamonds let me double check no i think you're okay
this Sunday I will see Sherry who wants to say hello to her we are going to visit her in her house for Thanksgiving dinner we decided uh, we can always go for Thanksgiving dinner to her house for the Christmas Boxing Day they come over to our house so we're going to have some wonderful time together there's going to be some other people up there as well So this tip are wide enough that it's actually like clothes and diamond. It feels like I don't see diamond. So maybe my placing looks weird. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Love the look of this pen. What can I say? I love pretty thing. Let me know if I should start on the owl diamond painting or pull out more of my lips just to finish. I cannot remember if I have any square up there lips. Yeah, definitely this fox is really super soft. It remind me wax they used to have in Dreamer's design was very sticky and I didn't really like it because it was keeps like very sticky sometimes pulling diamonds away from the canvas and leave a little residue of wax on the diamonds this kind of remind me that I'm not sure if it's sticking to diamonds or not I don't see this yet but definitely super soft My lines maybe not very straight in here. See these diamonds. The wax, wax, wax. Yeah. Wax is super soft. Maybe if I can put in a jar and leave a little bit like open maybe the stickiness will go away if I can just leave it open on one piece of plastic from here but here open maybe will be hardened a little bit I'm not sure if that would be a good idea or not but definitely a little bit more from my liking that I like I like a little bit more drier Mm, like not as soft sticky so I'm not going to create this video very long I will definitely have to use later my straightener but usually I use my bigger straightener so if I have um, I'm not going to put another pen, pen, on a pen right now but just to push the lines after I'm done to create them a little bit more straight but I have to say the placements in here not bad at all so if I can show you, well, it's actually close enough, but you know what? Let me grab this canvas and I will show you some, uh, just have a little reminder about this canvas. I just have to pull out this canvas from under my tripod and I will show you different kind of diamonds in here because 
if they still same diamonds as was before i think you will really like it so i have to zoom out and that way i can show you diamonds more close for example this light and pink color look how beautiful this placement they are very nice snuggle together diamonds gorgeous right uh, then we have diamonds in here in pinks colors let me get from this other well let's see green one let's see green first not much green in here but still you can check it out those diamonds the green and the brown and pink gorgeous right and look at the, the clarity of the symbols amazing as well uh, in here we have some more pinks or red whatever that is diamonds wonderful black diamonds mm, not my favorite but in here I think even black diamonds in here okay no see like black diamonds still not my favorite in square diamonds it's hard to find a good one for example if we look in here let me flash it. You see, you have a gap in, in here. Like, it's not exactly snuggle. If that's like in a gray, you see, there's not much of the. How beautiful in here. Diamonds, beautiful, beautiful. The black is never, never the same. Around diamonds in black, always very good. Square. They did not figure out yet unless you know it's already better because obviously this canvas now maybe like two years old um yeah probably two years old so definitely diamonds could be changed now for this canvas but design is gorgeous and i really really love it i really really love it let me put some artificial light artificial light from my magnifier and maybe we can see how beautiful they are sparkle gems really pretty in here love it love it love it love it yeah gorgeous gorgeous yeah nice and sparkle it's a cloudy day outside we're not going to see sun today so that's the whole sparkle you can get today, my friends. That's it. I will prepare for my Vips diamond painting video. It's good for me to remind what I have up there. And I definitely, I remember a few of them I should finish because lots of that done. Um, this is on my table right now. It will be sitting under this mat underneath because this is my workspace so it's going to be sit under my <laughs> uh, mat so every time i have a free minute i will be working on it and tonight i so tonight i will be working probably on uh, on the top in here it's like a chair in here and some background in here lots in here like same symbol look at that light symbol and that's the color this one this this light color that's what i will work with a little wiggle line in here especially in here i think i was working in here with the multiplacer that's what happened so i will be working one by one i guess um yeah so to make this video for you a little bit more longer I will add, I have a few clips that I created at the campground where we went up there to clean up some stuff and put away some stuff. So I just have like a few short clips of video up there. So I'm just gonna add right now for you and you, if you're interested to watch. Uh, have fun and I will see you next time. October 1st, 2022.
summer video. I wonder how many trailers left in the park right now because it's only one week left to get out from here. Next week gonna be packed up for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Hey, what you doing? Digging down your beautiful tent. <laughs> My beautiful tent. It's so ugly right now. It's broken. Daisy went through the net, if you remember. So we are demolishing this and it will be going in garbage. Can we save the, uh, the frame for something or no? No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. Okay. Next year, my friends, we are going to have a new... Maybe smaller. We need a smaller one. So we have a more yard a little bit. What are you saying? Yeah? Okay. We need a smaller one? Sure, whatever you like. <laughs> so last, yeah, uh, last weekend, it was everything in here under the water. I will put picture for you. I stole a picture of the Facebook group. They took a picture of the stuff. So we are going to start to demolish stuff. I will dry out this carpet and put away on the shed. This trailer deck will be go in the storage in the backyard of the campground. So I need to I need to start to do some. I, I'm I'm getting a little bit of work done inside of the trailer because uh, in here I already put in a box puppy stuff, puppy food, puppy toys, this blanket's probably gonna go home, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to put some stuff, kind of sad, kind of sad to get ready, but yes, I will have to start working on it. See you later. Okay, my people. I see this kind of spider first time in my life. And just to show you how big this is, I'm gonna put my finger next to it. I don't know if he's gonna bite or not. This is my finger next to the spider. Oh my God, he's huge. He has like a eyes on his... Where are you going? Oh, there's a little one up there too. Oh! That's freaky. Deck is gone. Huh? Barbecue go home. Barbecue deck went home so this week. This week, yeah. The last fire. We're probably not going to stay overnight. It's cold in here. Even we do have some, you know, uh, heat on the trailer. But I think we're gonna go home. We're just gonna pack stuff. The lights from the tree is gone. Oh, I will miss this place so much. It's look empty. Everybody's packing. If you can see. See everybody put their stuff together, getting ready for a storage, demolishing. This rug will go inside of the shed. My flowers will go with me home because this one will grow back in the springtime. Look, I have an onion up there grow, some chives. Jet ski we are going to pull home today. I will want to take you to the lake. I would love to see the lake. My beautiful lake. I will miss you. I cannot believe how low water today. Uh, last time I was here, the water was all the way covering this rocks. So it's really low. And if we look further away, up there this all this line of rocks what you see in here it was all covered under the water now it's all open so we're gonna take a walk up there it's a nice 
actually quiet water still like just a ways by the shore but up there far far away it's nice and smooth maybe we will find few interesting rocks we'll see it is so clear water so nice and clean something got my attention in here so let's check it out we have something something pretty in here let's get this oh that's cute look at all this layers stripes let me get a little bit zoom out so you can see very nice i like this kind of rocks there's something else interesting in here something i don't know if that's a painted rock oh yeah is it yeah somebody painted it looks so green but that's just a just a paint on a rock i guess because it's coming out green i thought maybe something natural who knows right so we are going all the way up there to see this rock area we are almost went to the little island which is this part was all under the water for me to get to the rock let's say to get to that rock i have to walk knee deep in the water now you can see it's it's a rock bed all the way up there but i can see something in here what did i see i see something pretty in here looks like a quartz looks like a quartz Okay. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I do have my water shoes, but I have a socks and everything. I'm not going on the water right now because it's cold. So we're just going to walk. I have my bag with me. Okay, just for in case I just found some stick maybe maybe i will see something in the water that i have to bring it close to me tell me if you see something interesting it's fun i can't believe how peaceful that is look how clear oh i would love to be now dip my feet in the water and go look through those rocks up there so while we walk in here let me talk to you a little bit some of you was asking me to tell you more about what is going on right now back home to kind of camouflage my words I will not say exact words because I don't want YouTube to block my video but I will say this that yesterday the idiots announced that four districts of my region of my country now it's Russians and today our army put Ukrainian flag in it kicked them out so the other thing the other thing that is bothering me right now and it's very big danger that my other neighboring country belarus again letting russians to build their army on their side and they trying again to take over capital of ukraine which is kiev I want to trust our army. They say they prepare. They have a good protection up there. They're ready to meet them if they need to. But it is scary because 
that's the area where my son live where my family live my mom my sisters so that's a little bit nerve-wracking for me right now I've been staying again on computer to 3, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning watching news constantly, watching what is going on on the front line. And as you know, my nephew up there somewhere, my son protecting base. And that's the region that actually those morons trying to attack. Oh, it's so scary, it's so scary. I can't sleep, I can't eat. This one rock will be very sparkle in the sun because it's like a crystalline. So I will keep this one. Very scary, my friends. Wow, look at this rock bed. This was all under the water. Oh, even the big rock up there is now open, so... Let's just walk on it. It's stinky because all this green, the seaweeds up there, all this greenery. But I used to walk in this area, even like knee waist down. And now look at this, all this rocks is open. That's amazing. Look at those big rocks and the rocks. That's amazing what this lake I've read somewhere in a historical article that millions years ago in here was like ice, um, uh, how would I say, it was a, it was an ocean, everything was frozen, so sometimes you can find some like awesome fossils, that's what I trying to find something very very unique those rocks up there those big rocks that we are going right now those rocks uh i couldn't get to the rock before very very, very oh that that big rock i couldn't get to it because it was far away in the water it was just like halfway under now look at that it's all on the top of the rocks so i can see my battery now flashing will die soon so i'm just gonna go further maybe in a corner or maybe just come back and go through the rocks back oh going to miss this place all those wind towers up there look how close we can get to them Even Pretty good camera and it's only 300 something with tax will probably cost like 400 bucks something but I'm already using this camera for many years still working still working up there all the way up there US side so hello to my all my US friends I love you all I hope my friends you are safe it's such a horrible thing is going on with the hurricane lots of canadians got houses swiped out on the water as well it's horrible i've been watching news weather channel it's like live so they can update every minute that's what is going on and it really hurt for me to see how much destruction we get these days all right i will be turning off my camera now because it will be dice so i'm just going to walk around look some for some rocks also i want to see some maybe we'll pick some leaves maybe some colorful leaves to put in my resin i want to find like a maple leaf that's already red or some other maybe flowers to dry them and put them in a resin in my one of my tutorials i'm planning to do see you later